Hey, what's going on? This is Justin at SaltStrong, and I want to talk to you guys today about braided fishing lines. Guys, we've talked on this topic a little bit in the past, but there's so much to go into with braided fishing lines. Um, I just kind of want to jump into it and really focus on the difference between a four-strand braided line and an eight-strand braided line, because there's a lot of minute differences between the two. There's pros and cons for both, and I want to help educate you guys to help you make a better decision on what braided line you want to go with on your next spinning setup. So before we can go into explaining the difference between a four strand and an eight strand braid, we still have to ask ourselves the question, what exactly is braided fishing line? And there's a couple really big words used in the actual product itself. Braided fishing line is gel spun, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. You don't really need to know what that means specifically, but the process for making braided fishing line is relatively simple. There's a raw product, a polyethylene, likely in a pellet form. It's melted down, extruded through really fine porous, uh, kind of like a membrane that that raw product is spun onto a bobbin and then these bobbins work in conjunction with one another, uh, kind of like a merry-go-round, and they crisscross and weave together onto a final spool. And that process right there produces the raw product of these gel-spun polyethylenes that are used in the fishing industry today. Now, in terms of the common trade name lines that are used in the industry, I'm sure you guys have heard of Spectra and Dyneema. They're two trade names by two totally different companies. PowerPro uses a product made out of Spectra fibers. Spectra is made by a company called Honeywell, and Honeywell in turn provides the raw product to innovative textiles that in turn makes PowerPro, okay? That's pretty simple. JBraid, Daiwa's JBraid, and many other companies as well. I believe, uh, I believe Suffix is also made out of a Dyneema product. Uh, they use Dyneema, it's based out of a company uh, in the Netherlands called DSM. Uh, I think for a while Pure Fishing was also using Dyneema fibers, I believe in their spider wire Ultracast or Invisibraid. I'm not sure if that's still the same today. Uh, but all you need to know is that they're just two trade name um, fibers that are used commonly in the fishing industry. In terms of which one is superior to one another, Honestly, I say throw a dart. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of difference between Spectra and Dyneema in its raw form. Uh, molecularly, they're very similar. They have high tensile strength, low density. They don't absorb water. They both, their properties both you know, respond in the same manner. But what's gonna separate the two, and we're gonna get into that in a second, is how these companies create the final product itself. Not the raw form of Spectra and Dyneema, but the final product that you guys are using today on the water. So now that you have a brief understanding of what braided line is, let's get those off the table, let's just talk about the difference between a four strand and an eight strand braided fishing line. Now guys, there's a lot of different braided line. There's four, there's eight, there's even 12 strand and 16 strand on the market today. I don't normally see anything higher than eight strand in the regular domestic United States market. And for what we do as inshore fishermen, that's more than enough. Uh, I don't think a 12 strand or a 16 strand really offers any more benefits to us um, for the style of fishing that we do. So we're just gonna talk about four strand and eight strand and the differences between the two. So the process to make a four strand or an eight strand braided line is virtually about the same. The biggest difference is gonna be the amount of material used and the amount of time it takes to make the product itself. Obviously a four strand braid, it's gonna be less material. It's four bobbins working in conjunction with one another, weaving at a certain level of tightness together onto a spool to make a four strand braided line. That big spool is provided to innovative textiles that in turn makes PowerPro. Same with any other eight strand braid, whether it's J braid or suffix or spider wire Invisibraid, doesn't matter. If it's an eight strand braid, it's gonna be eight bobbins working together, weaving together at a certain level of tightness onto a big spool, and then that raw product is provided to each manufacturer, and then a final branded product is made. And really kind of the secret sauce between all these different manufacturers and their final product is, you know, the resin or the epoxy or the coating that's used, uh, the heat treating process. Some companies use, you know, dyes that are more UV resistant. Some companies use a coating that makes the line more abrasion resistant. It really just depends from manufacturer to manufacturer. 
Now with all that information, we can jump into the pressing question, which is, what are the application differences between four strand and eight strand braided fishing line? I have a couple examples in front of me, but I'm gonna take these two 10 pound spool models to show you guys. So this is a 10 pound, 150 yard spool of Power Pro. This is 10 pound, 150 yard spool of Daiwa's J Braid 8 Grand. The diameter of the Daiwa is 0.15 millimeter diameter for that 10 pound. Their regular J Braid 8, I only have a 15 pound model in front of me, but I did check. The 10 pound is also 0.15 millimeter. And Power Pro, even though it shows it here on the spool itself, shows two pound diameter, but when you check the box, it is also 0.15 millimeter diameter. So in terms of thickness, all three of these lines in 10 pound, even though that says 15, in 10 pound, they're all the same diameter, but a four strand performs very differently to an eight strand. So let's take a look at Power Pro for an example. Everybody knows Power Pro, it's an excellent product, Cast very far, very strong, and very abrasion resistant, which I would say is one of the biggest pros of a four strand braided line. It's going to feel very coarse to a lot of people. When you feel the braid itself, it's gonna feel more coarse than an eight strand. There's pros and cons to both. I think one of the pros is that that coarseness of the line helps it cut through you know, grass or debris a little bit easier, and therefore it ends up being a little more abrasion resistant than an eight strand braided fishing line. For me, the con of a coarse line is that it's gonna be an audible thing. I've noticed that Power Pro on my setups, the reason why I've slowly gravitated over to all eight strand braided fishing lines over the years, is that with Power Pro, you're gonna hear this wiriness or this raspiness on the ceramic guides of a rod. It doesn't affect the performance whatsoever. The braid will still cast very far. It's still incredibly strong. But for me, and with modern advancements with braided fishing line today, I have transitioned from Power Pro over to Daiwa's J Braid 8 Grand. I've used, like I said, Suffix in the past. I've used, you know, Spider Wire Invisibraid by Berkeley in the past. They're all great. But I've gone over to these eight strand braided lines because they're a little bit smoother. And that raspiness that I hear with Power Pro is not as much of an issue with an eight strand braid. But another major benefit to four strand braided fishing line is that it's relatively affordable. Uh, it's more economical, I think, is a way of putting it. Uh, four strand braided line obviously is less material and therefore it takes less amount of time to make. So, you know, a spool of 150 yard, 10 pound Power Pro is like 12 bucks. Relatively inexpensive, you can load up your spinning setup and have a consistent performing braided line for most inshore applications. But as for a con with four strand braided fishing line is that it's not gonna be as round or consistent as an eight strand. There's more material used in the eight strand. It's gonna be a rounder braid overall. And the increased number of fibers in an eight strand is going to translate to increased tensile strength overall. I mean, there's just more material in an eight strand compared to a four strand. Um, so you'll notice that in Luke's videos, there was a higher knot breakage strength of the, of the Daiwa J Braid eight grand compared to Power Pro. Likely in part of the fact that there are more fibers in the eight strand than the four strand, therefore it's going to be a stronger braid overall in terms of tensile strength and pulling power. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. I'm sure you're probably wondering, Justin, why do you have a regular Daiwa J Braid 8 spool in front of you? I will tell you why. So I have used regular J Braid 8 on my spinning setups for inshore fishing for a couple of years now. They've performed consistently. They're excellent casting lines. They have great knot strength. They're very smooth and quiet casting through my guides. However, I will say that one of the cons of eight strand braided fishing line is that it is not as abras uh, abrasion resistant as four strand, okay? It's nominal. I mean, braided line in general is not gonna be nearly as abrasive or abrasion resistant as monofilament or fluorocarbon or nylon line, but in general, four strand is more abrasion resistant than traditional eight strand braided line. And I was having issues fishing with this around docks and bridges for, for big snook or black drum that run me into structure. Uh, so I, I wanted to try to find something that was a balance of both worlds. And that led me to Daiwa's new J Braid 8 Grand. We discovered the J Braid 8 Grand and the more we learned about it, this material, you remember how I said that in the fishing industry, there's two trade name fibers. One is Spectra, one is Dyneema. Well, there's actually a third. And the third one is called uh, Isnas or Isanis. I'm not entirely sure of the phonetics. 
made by Toyobo Company over in Japan, the molecular structure of this fiber is known for being four times more abrasion resistant than traditional four strand braided line. So here, I think you have the best of all worlds. You have a very round braided line because it is eight strand, it's very smooth, and now it's abrasion resistant with the, with the raw fiber that's used, this Ezanis or Eznos material. So really, that's the main reason why we decided to go with the eight grand over the traditional J-Braid eight. This is an excellent line. I just think that with advancements in modern technology that they have really hit it out of the park with this one. And that about wraps it up. Those are the pros and cons and differences of four strand versus eight strand braided fishing line. Guys, I hope you found this video very helpful and it helps you make a better educated decision on what type of line you would like to fish with based on your style of inshore fishing. If you have any questions, reach out to us on this video or at saltstrong.com. And if you'd like to pick up one of these packs of braided fishing line, you can do so at our shop page, fishstrong.com. And if you're an insider, Member, you know that you can earn up to 20% off of either of these spools of braid and all types of saltwater fishing tackle. And until then, we will see you guys on the water. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you'll start catching more fish in less time. And we do this by providing you with premium education, an exclusive online fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. So to learn more, go to saltstrong.com, and we'll see you in the Insider Family soon.